Check out that new ride. Welcome back to our channel, everybody. Thank you all for tuning in again. We have some very exciting news. As you can see, this is our new adventure van that we're going to be converting over the next several months. We are super excited. We've been waiting so long to do something like this. It's been probably three years now that we've been waiting to do a project like this. Since we've been on the island, we've been looking nonstop for a van and every time we look for a van, they sell so fast. This one came up and we decided, hey, we gotta go look at this like next day. So we did, checked it out and it was literally exactly what we wanted. It was mint condition, windows all around. We'll have to show you a little bit soon. And we were kind of like, Okay, yeah. like let's do it. We're let's do this. So yeah. a few days later, we picked up this baby, and then we're excited to see where it takes us. We're so excited to take you guys along for another journey. So let's get to building. Welcome to our van. We have a really clean base to start with, which is amazing. But they have this really ugly spray foam on the wheel wells, on the walls, on the roof as well, which is okay. You're not going to see this stuff anyways once the paneling and all the framing and stuff is done. It's just gonna cover it all. But yeah, the floor, like there's almost no rust on this ground floor. So it, it actually was a, a BC government vehicle and it was kept in really good condition. There's just a couple little things to get in check before we start putting our insulation down on the floor uh, and our subfloor. That's gonna be our first step. There's a couple little rust spots on the floor. We're just gonna scrape that off with the wire brush. Uh, we have some white rust-oleum paint, so we're just going to paint over that so the rust doesn't come back ever at any point. So. so you watch a few videos on van transformations and you think you have a good idea of what you're up for. Something as simple as putting a floor down, what well, you think would be simple. Um, turns out there's several different ways to do it. And from what I understand, the best way of insulating our floor, we are thinking of putting our insulation directly on the sheet metal instead of making a frame. The idea behind that is insulation, the long boards, instead of cutting them all up and losing some of that R value, if you cut insulation into smaller pieces, it doesn't do the job it's supposed to as well. It's still gonna insulate, but not as good. So we are hoping to put our big panels of insulation directly on the sheet metal. Once the insulation's down, we're gonna put our subfloor down. We're gonna put a few coats of polyurethane just to keep it nice and waterproof. Once the subfloor is down, then we'll do our vinyl flooring, laminate flooring, whatever we decide, but that's not going to be till the end because after the floor is done, there's still going to be a ton of work and mess to clean up from other projects in here. So we're not going to obviously put our nice floor down and then ruin it. So I just like to go out there and say, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> the wheel well has all this foam and it has this lip. So when it comes time to put the insulation down, it'll be a little uneven. So what we're doing on this side, I've kind of chipped away just that little lip there so we can get a nice flush fit just up along these walls. It's not ideal. At the end of the day, we have a really clean van for the most part. There's not a whole lot of prepping that we need to do. So yeah. <laughs> I've already whacked my head up here. Yeah. Um, does that kind of hurt? First five minutes and Elena was crying. <laughs> I was not crying. <laughs> I was just, I took, I sat and just took a second and then I got to scrubbing. So. Uh, I think we edged the wheel wells, um, the walls pretty good. We're going to lay out some cardboard and make a layout of the steel part of the floor. So when we get our insulation, we'll have that cut out. We can literally just trace it on our insulation. Um, as well as our subfloor. So that'll make life a little bit easier when that time comes. I just rolled up this front mat. I was debating for a while if we should cut this mat off to make extra room for the floor. But I think what we're gonna do is bring the floor up to this line here where this weld is. And then we can always just put the mat over that part of the floor. Um, there's some really nice insulation in here, so it'd be kind of silly to take this whole floor mat out of the front. So we'll keep that for now. We'll just tuck it back and then give this a good scrub. Go from there. You 
help him? Earlier today, cleaned the floors really good, did a really good scrub down, got any little bit of rust off with the wire brush, and then painted over with some Rust-Oleum paint just to keep the rust away. It looks like it dried up really well, and that is what we're working with. I know before it looked white already, but we just got those little rust spots all patched up. Anything that could potentially spread, just once condensation gets in there, we've got that covered. So. Time to get started. Let's open up this sound deadener and start sticking. So when you are putting down the sound deadeners, you're supposed to stick them down and then get a roller to press it down. And we did order one on Amazon as well. And it's not supposed to come until next week. So we are gonna improvise and guess what? <laughs> we're using cutlery. <laughs> so we're gonna use a spoon and I guess somehow roll it and smooth it out so it sticks. Definitely hear the difference with that. It's more of a dull thud now and no echo. Huge difference. I'm battling against the clock because I have a whole bunch of rain clouds coming in. Off in the distance, it's supposed to rain within the next hour, but I'm trying to get this insulation cut so I can get those three pieces in. Then hopefully get a couple cuts of the plywood so we can get that in as well. We want to waterproof um, stain the outside of the subfloor, but it's been fairly cold the past few days, so we might have to wait a little bit to do that. But as long as I get those cuts done, we're good. There's these ridges underneath. If you look right by the step, there's like a four inch gap here where, especially if we're stepping all the time, it's just gonna break eventually. So I just got these little shims I cut out. I'm gonna tuck it right there to fill the space and there it is, nice and sturdy.
chess? Yeah. I don't know how to do this. It might be. Do you want to try on the side, maybe? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop it and hope for the best. <laughs> Shuffle this side in, so you shuffle that way. Insert. 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 Drop. Push in. Yeah. <laughs> we just finished putting in the subfloor. It's a little bit of a game of Tetris, and you know we would get the the sections in and then they would kind of fit but not really so then I waited to like take it out again and then take a few more pieces off and try again so took a couple tries I think as we went along but we got them all to fit rather nicely and we're really excited you can kind of start seeing it coming along and it's just exciting to have a floor <laughs> subfloor subfloor Sub yeah subfloor yeah awesome we'll still put like laminate on the actual subfloor. We're gonna take all this out because we have to glue the insulation down underneath, glue that to the braces under the van, and then the actual wood subfloor, we're probably gonna do a couple anchor points just so it's nice and sturdy. And God forbid we were ever in a crash, at least the floor is not gonna come into the front seat. We don't want that. We want it to stay down right where it is, Looking fresh. I'm applying the waterproof sealant on all of the subfloors. Just took a little bit of a break and the weather was kind of getting a little icky so we are like we should just stop now in case it were to rain because we weren't really sure. And now we're outside and it's sunny. So we have everything pulled up again off the floor. We're just going to do a quick little alcohol scrub of the metal just to clean any little grease or grime that will make the glue adhere much better. So let's do that real quick and then we can start gluing stuff down and then we'll really have our floor. I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to puncture the inner tube to this thing. So the very base here there's the seal. So I just kept pressing and pressing the caulking gun. Nothing was coming out for like 10 minutes, but there's a little piece <laughs> on the actual caulking gun, which now I know what it's for. So I'm placing these little shims down on the really high contact areas, like the lip where we'll be stepping quite often. And they're a uh, quarter inch, so they go nice and flush with the actual braces of the floor here. We'll throw a couple more of those down and then we'll put the insulation back in. What we're thinking of doing, a lot of people will build channels or they'll build a full frame and then put the insulation in those frames that they made but we're just gonna put our insulation straight onto the braces of the van, uh, right onto the bare metal. And so what that's gonna do, uh, it's gonna give us more insulation, just cause again, that insulation that we bought is not that thick, so you want the most for your money. Or when it has a bigger surface area, it's going to help keep that insulation, those little gas bubbles in the insulation itself. Um, it's gonna stop them from escaping. So if they're cut into a bunch of little pieces, that's what happens that uh, heat that gets trapped in there comes out a lot easier. That's what I understand from a million YouTube videos that I've watched. So if we put it straight down onto the bare metal of the van, these little braces are one, going to give us that nice airflow. So if it does get moisture and condensation built up underneath, there is a way for air to come out and it's going to give us uh, a little more warmth. So let's see how it works. 
So last night we let the insulation cure to the actual floor of the van. We just kept as much external pressure on top, a bunch of tires, some rocks to stay there and cure for 24 hours. And now it is time to bring all of this out and then put on our plywood. up the video here we had a really productive week we got our sound deadeners in our insulation and the subfloor we're really happy with how everything's turning out so far especially with being newbies at this <laughs> we're really happy you know just doing the thing and learning as we go absolutely and it was a very um just confidence boosting task doing the subfloor just because at the end of the day it's all gonna be covered up anyways with laminate flooring and cabinets and the bed and all that stuff. So just getting used to being in the van, you know, working with the tools again, uh, it all went really well, as Alana said, for a couple of noobs doing it together. So it was really productive and we're glad we finally got to dive in and start working on this. It's gonna be a really fun process over the next several months. And again, we can't wait to take you guys along the journey. Thank you so much again for watching our channel. Please consider subscribing, like, give us a comment, let us know if you have experience doing van builds, or again, have some recommendations on places we should go visit while we're here on the island. So thank you guys again, have yourselves a great week, and we will see you in the next one.